everyone welcome back to the Christian Musician YouTube channel today we're going to do yet another guitar tutorial so today we're going to be doing Less Like Me by Zach Williams however I have changed the lyrics a little bit to where it says don't want to be like me because I don't want to be like me at all so it's not about a little less like me it's I don't want to be like me at all I want to be just like Jesus that's the way I view it you can play however you want sing the original lyrics it, it's all good anyway so a little less like me it doesn't use too many chords but when I say you're gonna realize, you know, I'm only in the key of G, by the way. So it's gonna be, I wanna be like Jesus. I wanna be like me. So there's a few different lyrics in there. Um, there's actually gonna be two ways I'm teaching you. One is the easy way, the second is the advanced way. So the really easy way keeps two of your fingers in the same exact spot the entire song. The other way, it moves them around a little bit more. So there's only four chords you need to know for this song. We got G. We got D over F sharp, C add 9, and E minor 7. However, if you're playing the advanced way, you use G, D over F sharp, E minor, and C. So that's the only variations right there. I'll go ahead and get my guitar strap on and pick the guitar up so you guys can actually see the chords I'm playing. And I'll teach you how to do all of them. So I'm going to be teaching you eight different chords. Um, I'm going to move you guys on. So, for the easy version, the G I'm using, I'm using two fingers on the bottom, two on top. Be your pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string, your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, and your index finger on the second fret of the A string. And that's going to sound like this. For the alternated version where it's the advanced, all you do is the same exact chord, except you lift off that ring finger, or you can even do it this way, where instead your ring finger is on the low E string 3rd fret, and your middle finger is on the A string 2nd fret, and then the pinky just stays in the same spot. That's the version he uses in the real song, or in the regular song. So, after that, we have your D over F sharp, that is used in both versions, so really it's going to be 7 chords. So then you use the same exact positioning on the G chord except the pinky finger and the ring finger stay in the same spot then your index finger is on the second fret of the low E string and your middle finger is going to be on the second fret on the G string that's going to sound like this you can even play a regular D if you want it still sounds good either way then the E minor 7 once again these two fingers stay in the same spot all it is the A and the D string on the second fret with your index and your middle finger then you just strum all the strings, it's E minor 7. To change that to an E minor, just lift off these bottom two fingers. Or you can even do it either you know, middle and your ring finger. That's E minor. Then, the last two, we got a C add 9, once again, pinky finger, ring finger, same spot. And then, you're taking your G chord and moving each of those top fingers down one string. So your middle finger is on the third fret of the A string, and your index finger is on the second fret of the D string. Then you strum from your A string down. That's a C add 9, and then you can change it to a C, regular. So all it is, these two strings are still being used in the same spot, it's just your ring finger is going to be on your A string 3rd fret, your middle finger is going to be on your D string 2nd fret, and then your index finger is going to be on your B string 1st fret. That's a C. So those are the chords you need to know. If you'd like to play the advanced version, you use G, D of F sharp, E minor, and C. If you're playing the easy version, you use G, the second type, D of F sharp, E minor 7, C add 9. Notice those two fingers down there don't move at all. Like those are just staying in the exact same spot the whole time. So. Same spot the entire song. That's what those do. So, I'm gonna, I think I'm out of tune a little bit. There we go. That sounds better. Alright, so, once again, just a quick overview. G, the regular. The second type. D over F sharp says the same. E minor 7. E minor. C add 9, and C. 
only chords you're going to need to know. So I'm going to be teaching you easy version first, then the harder version. So, your strumming pattern is going to be a down, down, downs, and up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, downs, and up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So this is down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up. That's all you got to do with that. So it's very simple. So, what we're going to do is for the easy version, all right, it's just that. So your chords are going to go G. Do to do, then do over sharp. Do. Let's see, I had nine. So we where it's um, somebody with a hurt that I could have helped, that goes to E minor, then D over F sharp, then C add 9, instead of G. So it's generally G, G D over F sharp, C add 9, until you get to that part, then it's E minor 7, D over F sharp, C add 9. Somebody with a hurt that I could have helped, somebody with a hand that I could have filled, when I can't see past myself, Lord help me. The chorus goes back to G, a little more like mercy. But the way I sing it is, I want to be like mercy. I want to be like mercy. I want to be like grace. Then kindness, goodness, love, and faith. Then I want to be like patience. Go back to E minor 7. That's the only change you got to make. Then I want to be like Jesus. Goes back to G. Don't want to be like me. Then you just go back straight to D. Okay. So I want to be like Jesus. Do you have ref sharp? I don't want to be like me. Then go back to G. So that's all that is. So in the advanced version, there's actually two techniques you can use. You can use the exact same chord pattern with nothing special, and I sound like this. Or you can do some of the little tricks I like to use. In the song, you hear... That's something you hear in the song, so here's how I do it with chords. So I'd go, just regular G. Then I put my first finger on the first fret of the B string, and I play it like that. You can hear that in the song. So it'd be... But with the chords, that's all it is. There you go, D over F sharp. That's what that part comes in. When you switch, so. So that rest of it takes care of itself. And you can see we're playing those exact notes. That happens all in the chords. And you're still going in that same pattern, so it still sounds like So it's still the exact same thing. So you just go ahead and play that progression just like that. When you get to E minor, you can do it like E minor 7, or you just do regular E minor. So you can still use this finger right here to do the exact same pattern. As you can see it still works so that's why I use these two fingers right here my middle and my ring so then this can still hit that C note and that's the little variation I can use down there just to make it sound kind of a little bit more like the regular song which I really like the sound of it so that'll just look like this something after you have memorized the regular chords then do that so as you're starting I would recommend just doing the whole chords I recommend just doing that and then once you can play the song pretty fluently then add that stuff in if you'd like you can just go straight into it I mean if you're a faster learner with hands-on go right ahead but right now I feel like it's probably a little bit easier just to do the regular one and then add that in however you want to do it as long as you learn the song you do really good I'm proud of you guys you guys are doing great all right, so now that you know the chords, we're going to go ahead and do the sing-along of the video. You guys to play along. 
whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and retune my guitar because I think it came out of tune again. It was the B string. It's always the B string. All right, so here we go. It's going, I'm gonna be playing the advanced version with the pattern. You guys don't have to, but here we go. It's going to be "Don't Wanna Be Like Me." version of Less Like Me by Zach Williams, Don't Wanna Be Like Me. So, that song, I didn't forget to mention one part, like I generally do. So, um, I Wanna Feed the Beggar on the Street starts on E minor, just the same thing. I wanna feed the beggar on the street, love to be your hands and feet. Then it goes to G, the same thing. Freely give what I receive, oh, So it's just E minor, and then D over F sharp C, and then G, D over F sharp C. And then, so, be the beggar on the street, love to be your hands and feet, freely give what I receive, Lord help me be. And then I want to put you first above all else, love my neighbor as myself, back G. And as long as no one sees, Lord help me be. Just stay on C. And then it goes back to the chorus. That's... The only way to think about that, it just goes from E minor, same chords, and then G, same chords. That's all it is. Um, I think that's about the good bit of it. There's one more technique you can use. I used it when I was playing. It's a little bit difficult to explain. I didn't explain it in the beginning. So, 
what I mean, so during the C chord, I'll sometimes take off the middle finger and put it back on like a hammer on. So. While I'm playing, so. So you can slightly hear it. slight change. I just think it makes it sound, you know, a bit better. But, I mean, it's whatever you want to do. So that is a little chord variation if you want to do it. It is a lot of finger movement, though, because you're already playing, you know. You're already playing all that with your hands. So to add in, it's a little bit difficult, but you can still do it if it's something you like to do. Now, I realize I'm not perfect. And I don't have an editing software yet, so I can't edit my mess of that out. But I don't want to have to record the video again, so you just get what I got. <laughs> now, there are sometimes, like, the first uh, Hills and Valleys tutorial I posted, um, I took it down because of the short sleeve thing, like I explained. So, um, in the little comment section, or not comments, the uh, description I put, because I got convicted of wearing short sleeves and exposing my arms, so I don't do that anymore, hence the jacket. Because um, this is a short sleeve shirt, I'm just wearing a jacket over it, so you can't see anything like that. But, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in the first Hills Valley tutorial, I had to do it, like, four or five times just re-recording it because it kept messing up too bad. Like, if I mess up and I'm playing, you know... And I hit the string above it on accident, you know, that's like, oh, whatever. But if I do this... I'm playing an E minor where a C belonged, and I'm like, okay, I need to restart. Because that that sounded horrible, you know? Or maybe I'm going... You know, you clearly that chord didn't belong there, and switching it back to C real quick doesn't help. And you kind of lose the strumming pattern, you know? So there's sometimes I just delete the whole video and go back over. But anyways, I'm not going to, you know, hinder you guys anymore. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave in the comments below any songs you'd like to hear. Email me if you'd like the chord sheet for this song. This song, I will give the chord sheet away for free. Generally, you guys would have to pay for it. But for this one, this chord sheet will be out for free. If you guys would like, email me, label it chord sheet. Don't want to be like me. And just let me know you'd like it. Um, I'll go ahead and email it to you. And you guys can have it completely free. It'll have all the lyrics, all the chords above the lyrics exactly where they belong. And it'll have little reminders in the bottom. If you'd like, I can do that. Just let me know. Um, but for the standard, it'll be the lyrics and then a space and then the lyrics and then a space underneath it. So each line will have the spaces, which will have the chords above the words. So you can see, okay, well, a little more like mercy. So that M-E-R would have G over it. A little more. The more would have D over F sharp over it. Like grace, and that G, the C would be at the end of like. So it'll show you exactly what a chord change. Email me, just label it um, chord sheet. Don't want to be like me, and then just you know, hey Christian, just like the chord sheet, please, and I'll send it to you. You know, whatever you want to put in the email, I don't care as long as it's not mean, rude, or hateful. You guys are good. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a blessed day. I hope you guys are learning. Any comments, suggestions, feel free as long as they're not rude or mean. So we I like to stick by the phrase, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But that's up to your guys' discretion. But I hope you guys have a blessed day. Love y'all. In Jesus' name.